Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, and welcome to Scrapple News. From high atop the Scrapple News Towers here in downtown Philadelphia, A, I am your humble reporter, AP Ticker. Earthquakes, tsunamis, nuclear meltdown. If this is an Armageddon, it must be its evil stepchild. But our top story of the night is all tickets for Charlie Sheen's live show, Charlie Sheen Live, My Violent Torpedo of Truth, April 2nd and 3rd in Detroit and Chicago, sold out in minutes before I even could finish dialing the Ticketmaster 800 number. Son of a bitch. Four Philadelphia area priests arrested last month on child abuse and endangerment charges, not to be confused with the 21 priests the Philadelphia Archdiocese suspended last week pending investigations into allegations of child abuse, appeared in court for the first time Monday. They said nothing, except, hey, judge, does this courtroom have a kiddie pool? Just kidding, they didn't really say that. But you know they were thinking it, sons of bitches. I'm just like a few minutes with, alone with these guys in the confession booth. Help them get right with God, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. A serial butt grabber is on the loose in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia. Police are asking for the public's help identifying this man captured on a security camera running across the street and grabbing a woman's butt when she stopped to tie her shoe last Thursday. Police believe this man is responsible for three similar attacks back, some, back in October and December. He is described by victims as a thin black male between 18 to 25 years old with a light complexion who was wearing a red plaid shirt, green down vest, and blue jeans. Anyone with information on the attacks should call the Special Victims Unit at 215-685-3251. And if you see the mail in question, you should call 911 immediately. This guy is like a Sir mix a -Lot song from hell. <laughs> I mean, I like big butts, and I, I cannot lie, but I, I don't go around grabbing the asses of strangers on the street. Oh, sure, I've thought about it, but it's against the law. Anyway, we're getting off track here. Just erase that last part, guys, if you wouldn't mind. Thanks. Video. Video HD, what are you thinking? Last week, waddle-necked Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett announced plans for massive budget cuts, including slashing state spending on higher education by a jaw-dropping 50%, or roughly $650 million. And read his lips. No taxes whatsoever on Marcellus shale drilling. Funny how the gas drilling industry contributed one million dollars to his campaign coffers. Uh, not so much ha-ha funny, in fact, it's, it's really not funny at all. It's called graft. Legalize graft. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is warning area residents about harp seals. Yes. Those lovable furry creatures you see getting clubbed to death for their pelts in animal rights videos. Though harp seals are widely believed to only live in the Arctic Circle, they have been spotted as far south as the Carolinas and increasingly the inland waters of New Jersey. But beware, if you spot a harp seal, do not attempt to pet or pick it up. They bite. They can transmit diseases like distemper virus or rabies to humans and pets. A seal also might abandon a pup to flee humans or dogs. And then you'd have to raise the pup like a son. You'd be responsible until he graduates from a reputable college. You have been warned. Let's pour one out for the late Owsley Stanley, the man responsible for dosing the entire West Coast with acid and essentially turning the world from black and white into color. He was instrumental in promoting his little band called The Grateful Dead and was immortalized in Tom Wolfe's great book The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. Happy trails my friend. 
happy trails. That's it for the news. I'm AP Ticker. Fear not, people of Japan. This too shall pass. The sun will rise on you again. Now he's gone.